Good morning, folks. FYI, that day off I mentioned is planned for Saturday. So barring any major solar activity, we'll see you tomorrow morning, then we're back on Sunday. And we're starting with our star here today at spaceweathernews.com. The last 24 hours on the sun let loose a far side CME. And on the Earth-facing side, hello, massive coronal hole. We have been very low in solar flaring, with the sunspots just finally coming back this morning on the incoming limb. Good news this morning is that the CME impact has begun. Slowly, weakly, with KP4 marks this morning, there is the potential for geomagnetic storm conditions later today, but no reason for concern. The next solar wind amplification will be this weekend from that sizable northern coronal hole, and if it's the biggest one she's ever seen, I can only wish you'd been with us last sunspot cycle. Folks, coronal holes are never absent from the sun, but it's when the sun is entering its maximum phase of the 11-year cycle that not only do we get phenomenally more sunspots, but the coronal holes invade the low heliographic latitudes with titanic size. The stream coming from this one has a good chance of producing geomagnetic storms all on its own this weekend. The top story today is fascinating, and it hits Antarctica where you may have heard about the seismic swarm that happened and blows any similar such event out of the water. A magma intrusion from the crust mantle boundary shot almost to the surface in the span of a couple weeks. Finally, a magnitude 6 event closed off the magma feed and the quake stopped. But what's fascinating is not only did this event break anyone's expectation of what's to be seen there, but it happened in 2020, right as Earth was shattering its previous record fastest day, which if you recall, happened 28 times in the super surge we took that year. That surge went from June to August, and the record seismic swarm due to magma intrusion in Antarctica occurred immediately thereafter. Remember, we're due to break those records again this year as the rotation surge of Earth is continuing. The days nudge shorter, and increasing energy excites our planet as its magnetic shield from space energy fades. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 30 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone